Well, Audrey Martin, what are you going to do today? I'm going to mount uh, the new meters that we're, we're using and we're selling. It comes with a everything you're going to need is going to be in the bag. Handlebar clip, um, the meter, uh, everything you're going to need. The sensors, is everything's in the bag. Right? And is that a shunt there? Yes, I've got the shunt right here. All right, so these guys will go up to how many volts? Uh, 350 volts. Oh, and how many amps? Uh, 800, I hear. I think you're right, 800. 800. You're right. You are right. 800 amps, 350 volts. And it does everything. This is going to show you amp hours, um, amps, volts. It's got a speedometer hooked in. You're going to really like this. All Easy right. to see, clear. <laughs> now, what am I doing? What are we, where is it? Okay. In where? Oh, in here. Oh, okay. That looks, you got that already mounted. Yeah. Well, that was yeah. pretty easy. It is easy. Especially with that handlebar thing, huh? Yes. And if they don't have a handlebar, they can just mount that to a flat piece of metal. That's correct. Well, what are you doing? Um, I just finished um, welding the tabs to hold the shunt. Oh, you did? Yes. Let's take a look at this. I just say. All right. This is the shunt. Comes with a package. What's next? Uh, next, we splice the negative cable, battery cable, and splice in the shunt. I'm getting ready to cut the negative cable. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and crimp these on. Don't forget your heat shrink. And then it'll, it'll all right, go, go ahead, start all over. So what are you doing now? Um, I'm, I'm putting the shunt in, the wires on the shunt first, so that when I go to mount it, it's easy easy to mount. Oh. And that way I can move things around. Oh, so you put like the, a good idea. Yeah, and then, then you have your, your washer, your lock washer. Everything just fits in nice finger tight. And then when you go to put it in, you can put it where you want it. See, those are the tabs that I did. And it'll screw on easier. All right. Okay. I just soldered the fuse, the red wire. That's the B plus. That's going to go to the battery. Battery B plus. And that's the battery B plus. <laughs> okay. So what are you doing now? I'm going to put the wires on. We've got the white that's going to go to the battery side over uh -huh. here. And then this goes for everything else that goes on this side over here. Oh, okay. So the wire, the the one with the two wires goes toward the controller. Correct. And, and battery white charger. goes to the battery side. Well, this seems pretty easy. It is. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like we missed some of the installation. What do we got going on here? Well, the only thing you really missed is the uh, red wire that goes to the B plus. I put a small uh, fuse in there, the smallest you can find. That way, if you want to shut it off, you can. You just pull the fuse. That's the only thing really that you missed. All right, and here's our meter, huh? Yes. Look at that. Volts, kilowatts, amps, and amp hours. Now, if we were switched over to here, we'd have our speedometer, wouldn't we? Yep, you and sure do, would. And how do we hook that up? Uh, there's a sensor. That's the only thing you're going to need to uh, to install now. I mean, you're going to need to install. Well, that's true. I was hoping you would. All right, we're making, this is our, our sensor for the, uh, for the speedometer. So we're making a little bracket here. And we got our magnet that's going to be attached to this disc. And now we just need this guy right here to be held off a certain distance. How far? How close? How far away? Well, the instructions say two millimeters, but if you use a powerful magnet, we found some of these big disc magnets, and it would work just even all the way out here. So you might right. not want to. You might want to use a different magnet than what came with the kit. All right. If distance is a problem. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So the uh, 
the wires coming out of this don't have any polarity. They're both the same color, so it doesn't matter which one goes where out of the sensor. Uh, so we're just putting on some some wire to extend the length, and we'll put some heat shrink tubing and get them all heat shrinked up there real nice. That's it. Go. Now we're getting ready to calibrate the speedometer now that we got that all in place. And uh, an easy way, a really accurate way, is to make a little uh, mark on the tire and on the, on the ground. And then roll the tire one exact turn. And then, measure it with your tape measure. Right. I'd say go ahead and stop the camera. 1,960 millimeters. We look in here and we find, oh, uh, that's, we just punch that number directly into our our guy. And we push down on our right and hold it. And then we enter setup. And we go along and we first thing we're going to do is change the kilometers to miles. So we hold down on the right button, let up, and then we change it. And then we hold down again till we see the okay. And that's how we uh, log it in. We push down again on the next setting, which is until we get the OK. And then after we see the OK flashing. Oh, you know what? All right, again, so uh, to get our into the setup menu, we push our left button and hold it down. And there we have setup. Now we scroll through, and our first one is, is miles or kilometers. And to change that, we just hold the button down. When we see the OK, it'll toggle back and forth from kilometers to miles. Once we're happy with what we've picked, we hold down again, and the next one comes up. Now, I've already set this to 1950, but if I wanted to change the settings, I would hold this down till the OK comes on, and you see the, our 1,000 millimeter one comes, and we can toggle that to wherever we like. And, uh, and then we got to hold down on the set button again. And then it goes through each one. So you again got to hit the and hold the right button and hold and hold it. All right, our next one is our speed limit. And our next one is our amp limit. And our next is our low voltage limit. Now all these you would have to hook and then we get to the advanced and we go on by the advanced and we're leaving the setup and now we're back and we've got miles per hour up there kilowatts and miles or we can come back here I'm sorry we can come over here and there we have volts kilowatts amps and and amp hours so you get two main menus that you can look at while you're using the meter now, if you want to center the meter out, you hold this one until it resets, and now everything is zero. Zero miles and zero uh, amp hours. So we're zeroed out. So we're ready to start the day.